Gabby has two deal breakers in a relationship. Can you name them? What are the two deal breakers that if you ever did these things, it's over on the spot? It's pretty important. You should know these because if you do them, it's over. It's, uh... All right, now welcome to uh, one of my favorite uh, parts of the show that we call Hot Seat, Humble, Open, and Transparent. Credits to Pastor Mike. He's the one who came up with that term, but I stole it um, because I love it, and I'm going to use it for the show. All right, so uh, I'm a new person now. YLD, Young Love Doctor, here on the show to uh, ask some hot questions. Now, what does that mean? Humble, open, and transparent. We're really trying to get an understanding of how well do you know your partner? How good is your relationship tie with each other? Are you guys a bond or not? Do you know Gabby? Do you know Siraj? Who knows? But we'll be asking oh, them. Are you guys ready? Pressure's on. If you're ready, type ready in the comment box right now. Please just type it, just type it. Just Cause like it also helps my channel grow. So just type it, just type, Please the, do it. type ready in the comment box. Thank you. All right. <clears throat> also, don't forget to like and subscribe. Like, press the like button. Please just press the like button. You can press it right now. That'd be great. All right. As you can see, Siraj, he is on the hot seat. How do you feel, Siraj? A little nervous, a little sweaty. Yeah? A little sweaty? <laughs> just kidding. Nah, 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 nothing to be worried about. <laughs> I'm still your friend. You know, still got glasses on and a, you know, and a little. You might have to fix suit. things up if you get everything wrong. All right. Yeah. <laughs> Free dinner for uh, for Gabby tonight. If you uh, get any of these questions wrong. I do. <laughs> All right. Are you ready for your first question? I am. Siraj, what is Gabby's favorite thing to cook? Pasta. <laughs> Steak. <laughs> oh, first <my laughs> You can buy the steaks to cook tonight. Okay. <laughs> she does make oh, a really good pasta homemade number pasta. Two, though. Pasta yeah. number two, though. Okay. Pasta number two. He's close. He's close. Are you good, bro? Dude, the heart rate is off. <laughs> oh my gosh. You're going like 150 BPM. Oh. Dude, you gotta, you gotta calm it down. No oh. worries. No worries. She does make a really good homemade pasta. <laughs> pasta. Best pasta I've ever had in my life. And a really good steak. So. Thank you. All right. Yeah. Bonus points, you can you can you can recover. Bonus points. What's what's your favorite kind of steak that she likes to make? Bonus points. You can recover from this garage if you can say what is her favorite kind of steak. New York strip. Yes. <laughs> Sure, yeah. Okay. <laughs> I just need to <laughs> Alright, I'm not good with the steak. No, no, I'm not good with the pieces of the I'm going now. All the time. We're, we're going way downhill. No, no. Alright, next question for Siraj. Hopefully you can make it up. He's got this. Don't worry, I believe in Siraj. He actually loves Gabby, so this is just like a... You know, I he just her. couldn't answer I this one her. question. <laughs> but he actually does love her, as you can see, guys. Here's the next question. If Gabby could go anywhere in the world, anywhere, Italy, vacation, <laughs> Italy, yeah. let's go, nice, so he knew before the question, point one, <laughs> let's do it, all right, next question, what is Gabby's biggest guilty pleasure? Like the sweet treat o'clock. <laughs> okay. Clark. Sweet. What you call it? Sweet, sweet treat o'clock. Sweet sweet treat o'clock. That's very interesting. What is that? I like to get myself a little sweet treat after dinner. You know, eight eight thirty is like the perfect time for it. So Go either like a baked good or a cookie or uh, ice, cream. ice cream. So you like have a whole time for it. Like every time you get dinner, it's like like right around eight thirty nine. We like, look yeah, at each other and sweet, we're like sweet treat o'clock. <laughs> she, she nods her head and then we go. <laughs> Adorable. All right. Next question. Who does Gabby value most in her life? Her grandparents. Wow, okay, okay, nice. You know, nice. Yeah. Oh, period. Tell us a little bit about that. Why, why so, why? I don't know, I just love my grandparents so much. They're so cute. And they live like two hours train ride from here, so I just go and visit them. All the time? Yeah, and oh. they've been together for like 65 years. 
got wow. married when they're they were so 21 cute. and now they're 89. Oh my so goodness. actually they've been together what almost 68 years wow wow talk about love talk yeah. about real love and that's some take some real love i could be with my girl forever so you know <laughs> that's right i'm like something like all right what types of things this guy would like to splurge on um thrifting she loves thrifting okay. especially new coats she just bought a new coat nice. last weekend nice um she loves reading so i guess getting new books and stuff okay 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 splurging like treating yourself type okay okay, okay that's yeah. not really true okay uh, yeah, sorry we, we terminology okay um how she like to treat herself splurging Sweet treat o'clock is splurging. For yeah, sure. for sure, for sure, excuse. Like um, that. Okay. What else do you like doing? That's I'm actually like so cheap. <laughs> <laughs> it's a very affordable thing her, that you're doing. Uh, she here. loves me taking her out to dinner. That's splurging. Aww. Yeah. Eating. Yeah. Eating. Food. Eating good food. Very good food. We'll spend it. The way to so move part of their stomach. Yeah. Ah. All right. So, 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 Gabby, that thumbs up, thumbs yeah. up, thumbs up yeah. for Gabby. Okay. All right, perfect. All right. Who does Gabby have a matching tattoo with? Her cousin, Sarah. Okay. Of a conch shell. Okay. Because they would always go to the beach, their uh, grandparents' beach house together when they're little. That's like, first of all, that's so, first of all, dude, great, great, good shit, man. You, you know some stuff, dude. Yeah. You know some stuff. That's one. Number two, that's adorable. <laughs> what? <laughs> you guys got conch shell tattoos? Or, yeah, like behind or, our ears. Oh my gosh, man. Some cute stuff, dude. All right. Last question for you, Siraj. And this is a resounding question. It's one of Gabby's key number one things that she likes to hold true to her own heart. So you got to know this, man. You got to know this. Will Siraj be able to answer this? I hope what so. What do you guys think in the chat? Yeah, just type in the comments below. Do you think yes, no? <laughs> what do you think? All right. Last question. Certainly not the least. Gabby has two deal breakers in a relationship. Can you name them? What are the two deal breakers that if you ever did these things, it's over on the spot? It's pretty important. You should know these because if you do them, it's over. It's uh, cheating. Don't ever cheat. Okay, okay. Don't ever cheat. That's one. <laughs> and then name calling. You got it. You got it. Sure, you got it. But name call, hey, bonus. What does she really hate? What name? What type of? There's one name that she really like. The name calling is one thing that she really hates. So you say this word. What is it? Fine. Being called the. Uh, 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 <laughs> yeah. And you got it. Yeah. Yo. Yeah. <laughs> hey. Hey. Yo. Hey. I dare you. I dare you come up on here and come answer some girl some questions about your girl that she has not told you <laughs> and see if you're gonna get everything. Siraj just got like a ninety eight percent. Right? This we guy. it on the first question. No, I mean, the first question is, it is. Like, it's not even that big of a deal. The last one you really got. Like, that's fire. All right. So, Siraj, we concluded after the hot seat, he loves his girl. All right. He knows his girl. You can't say anything about it. YLD can't say nothing about it. Loves his girl. Love to see that. All right. Let's transition. Hot seat. All right. You can see the pressure lights are beaming on Gabby now. It's time for her hot seat. Are you ready? No. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, I'm ready. Hot seat. Humble, open, and transparent. How well do you really know Siraj? So well. So well? So well. Well, we'll we see. So. <laughs> How well? It's so well or no well. <laughs> Woo! Gabby, first question. What is Siraj's ideal night out? Night out? Okay. 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 Cortanos, cocktails, and then like Virgo or just any other like house club. Okay. Thumbs up? Thumbs up? Thumbs up. All right, let's go. First question. Let's go. All right. Gabe was at 100%. What's Siraj's favorite meal in the city? San Marzano. San Marzano. <laughs> okay. Well, that's. 
San Marzano's like, wow, you're a big San Marzano's guy. What, what, what specifically from San Marzano's? The Ala Norma with oh, okay. the spicy sausage okay. and cheesy garlic bread if we really want to have an appetizer and ending with the tiramisu. Okay. We get this meal like once a week. That be <laughs> eating up. <laughs> she was hungry today. Oh my gosh. Now, here's a question. How does Siraj like to be shown love? You should know this. You do it every day, right? I mean, his love language is physical touch for sure. Okay. That's why he likes cuddles. I remember mm-hmm. that. I remember that. And then also, I feel like he likes being able to talk about whatever's on his mind <laughs> and then get good advice. Mm, yes. And then be feeding him. Yes. <laughs> Thumbs up. Yes. <laughs> And that's adorable thing. He, he likes getting fed. Oh my gosh! This I love is cooking. Doing... He likes getting fed. It works out really well. Oh my gosh! You guys are just perfect, aren't you? You guys are just perfect, right? Yeah. All right. They're just perfect. <laughs> Imagine being perfect. All right. When is Suraj the most at peace? Either when he's like making music, slash DJing, or when he's cuddling with me. I mean, like, oh my gosh! Wait, like, I, I actually, like, oh my gosh! Like, you guys are crazy! Like, you guys are, you guys are goaded! Like, you guys are probably like, you guys are goaded! Like, you guys are the goats! Okay, all right. I wish I had like more. Like, I wish I had stuff I could like drill them. Like, they're like too perfect of a couple. Goodness gracious! All right, what is Siraj's favorite activity in New York City? Like going to the studio and DJing. Or eating at San Marzano. <laughs> <laughs> it's a lot, a lot, That's like my a lot of overlap. <laughs> a simple man. Or hanging out with me. Okay. Hey, you can give it a thumbs cool. down. One you can more. give it a thumbs down. Going to like different house shows. Okay, yeah. That's a great answer. All right, so it's thumbs up? There's, yeah, she like hit Are you being nice? No, she I gave like all. four answers. She gave like four answers. <laughs> all right, okay. All right. Okay. All right. Very she's hundred percent. She's beating you right now. You know, she's a hun- she's a okay, hundo well, for a hundo, man. Now yeah. he's gonna say I got one wrong. I know, right? <laughs> oh yeah, that's not mine. Right, okay. <laughs> what is Siraj's favorite memory of your relationship so far? Mm. Favorite memory. Mm. Is this where you trip up, Gabby? Is this it? The pressure's on. I would say either our beach trip in Jersey. I feel like that's our best memory. Okay. Or like our date nights when we go to San Marzano. <laughs> <laughs> and then go out. I, yeah, the beach trip for sure. Beach trip. Yeah. yeah, we went on this nice beach trip to um, Jersey. The Jersey Shore. What town? But like was not it? the Jersey Shore, but like it, it was the Jersey. Like Shore. not like Jersey Shore, Jersey Shore. It was like oh, a yeah. Shore, <laughs> Jersey. Shore, Jersey. Yeah. Yeah. Jersey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was like one of the nice beach towns. It was very relaxing. We got like a Airbnb. Yeah, it was really nice. It was just you two? Yeah, just wow. It was first like romantic trip together. It was very, very basic. Oh wow! Yeah. I might have to take my wife there. Where'd you guys go? What was the town called? It was near, um, like Ashbury Park. Asbury it was right. Park. Yeah, it was a town over from Asbury Park. You could literally walk to Asbury Park. Yeah. We'll just say Asbury Park. It's yeah. right, it was right next to Asbury nice, Park. Nice. Yeah. No. Okay. Sounds good. Yeah. All right. <clears throat> Last question for you, Gabby. So it seems like, okay, so so Gabby's gotten everything right. That was like 100% right. Wow. That's great. This might be. 100%. Hundo <laughs> piece. Okay. Last question. It's one that's very personal to Siraj. Very personal to him. Who does Siraj look up to the most it's a stumper no one no one <laughs> mm. at least in no person, one that's a very I interesting like answer there's no one in Siraj's life that like he knows that i would say is a role model to him mm. that like i yeah i guess that yeah but these i guess i guess no what, that's what, what was the answer I, that you had that yeah, in your I, heart i was like a stumper <laughs> he's trying to stump me yeah <laughs> so, wait, I really you didn't even it. have an answer to it no, no. <laughs> <laughs> well, wait so she's no, the her answer, answer is correct, this though, because i really yeah i haven't really looked up to anybody honestly i kind of just like knew what i had to do in life <laughs> to make it here mm, in the city so mm. yeah that's, that's a good answer. He's paving his own way. I was paving my own way. <laughs> wow. Very wow. respectable. Wow. Well, guys, um, I think what we've gotten from this hot seat is that 
Uh, nothing. They're a perfect couple. They're great. <laughs> they uh, love each other a lot, and they know each other so well. Like it's kind of annoying. I wish I could like probe on some stuff, but uh, looks like they are perfectly happy and, and together. So the doctor has diagnosed this to be a what? Healthy relationship. Woo! That's right. Woo! Right. <laughs> Can we just confirm. That's right. Healthy. Healthy. Mm -mm. Can I like, put on my wrist mm -mm. or something? Get the. Wow, heartbeats of love. Wow. <laughs> heard that, heard that. Guys, this has been amazing. All right, sadly but surely, we are coming to a close. This has been an amazing episode. Yet another prime example of a couple that has showcased to us that these beginnings are very natural and they happen every single day for a lot of us um, in terms of what are these key moments that can lead to one thing or another that can ultimately lead to you finding the person that you're supposed to be with? And at each point in time, what I've identified from their relationship and from other relationships that's been on the show is you have to have some courage and you have to have the confidence to be able to go out there and get what you want in this relationship. If you don't do that, you'll be beating around the bush for the rest of your life. And you're gonna end up being 45 with no spouse. So shoot that shot, man. Shoot that shot. Tell that guy, tell that girl how you feel and tell him today. Tell him right now, send him a text. Hey, I like you and I think that we should be together. Or, hey, can we go on a date? It's that simple. You gotta do it. But enough of my nuggets. Crowd wants to hear from you guys. Straj, Gabby, do you guys have some pieces of advice that you want to give out to the world as we close so that they can know what is it that they can do better in the relationship that they're in or to get into one as a young person? I would just say, like, stick up for yourself. Like, if you know what you want, like, don't let anyone else dictate what you should be doing. Like, if you know what you want, go after it and get it and you'll get it eventually. Period. Yeah. Period. Period. I'd say kind of going off of what Chica was saying, you got to, like, communicate your feelings no one's a mind reader, you know, mm. no one is a mind reader. So make your intentions clear from the start and, you know, you'll be happy <laughs> with the end product. So, well, you heard it from them, All right? Not just me. Perfect. This has been another episode of Relationship Status. Thank you so much for watching and we'll catch you guys next week.